So guys, today I want to talk about what makes your machine jerky. And this can go for any CVT driven machine. Some of these um, tips you're going to see here in this video is going to explain why you may get the jerkiness on takeoff that you get with the CVT. A jerkiness on takeoff is normal with a CVT. However, we can make it go away actually. So I ripped apart my clutch so we could do an in-depth uh, video on how the clutch works, what causes the jerkiness, and how we can get rid of it. So first of all, I'm going to save you the whole video and tell you how we can get rid of it um, real quick. Is a clutch kit from www.rngperformance.net. My clutch kits are designed to... Uh, get rid of the jerkiness. If you have a CF Moto, it's going to be jerky from right off the bat from factory. So even a new belt, new clutches, all of it. And it boils down to the spring and the weight combination that's in the primary kit. And with the RNG primary kit, we optimize our clutches to give you a smooth engagement along with power. Now, some of our clutch kits, if you're an aggressive rider, um, you may not want that smoothness, but you want more power. We can do that too. However, if you already have a clutch kit and the clutch kit manufacturer, whether that's me or somebody else, tells you that your clutch should be smooth with it and it's not. Um, how many miles are on your machine? Have you changed your belt? All this stuff uh, goes into consideration. So now we'll move right on to the belt. And if you're getting some jerkiness, it could be your belt. Your belt could be glazed. It could have worn spots. My belt is in tip top shape. It's an OEM belt still. We get a lot of miles out of the OEM belt. So a lot of people ask me what the best absolute belt you can get for your machine is. And all day long with CF Moto, it's gonna be OEM belt. You're not going to find a better belt. However, the next best belt would actually be an Ultimax belt, which I do have those on my Amazon store. If you go to my website, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a link to my Amazon store and we'll have those. Now here in a few minutes, we're gonna, sh we're gonna actually, I'm gonna put this together and then we're gonna run the machine and show you um, how the CVT works and why it's jerky. So <clears throat> mine here is not gonna be jerky, but you're gonna see uh, how it works to know why it's jerky with the belts grabbing so or the CVT grabbing the belt so if you want to look over your belt and in your owner's manual it's going to tell you the specifications for your belt wear um, and each CF moto it's different mine here is 32 millimeters um, if it's below that it's time to replace so you're going to want to measure this with a set of calipers if you physically inspect it and it looks shiny which ours does not ours looks great if it looks shiny or you can see any kind of abnormal wear or tear definitely replace it don't even worry about um, measuring it so let's get this belt on here so changing your belt with the secondary on is possible it very well is possible to do it's a little bit tricky to do but it is possible okay so another thing i wanted to cover since we got the belt on i wanted to show you what the one way or the one or the two way bearing does depending upon your machine, you'll have one or the other. And when the engine's running, this primary shaft is spinning, which means the belt has to stay still because if it don't, you won't be able to shift your gears. So let's pretend that's running. It's going to let the belt stay in one place. Now, a lot of you are going to say, hey, Redneck, I got this funky, weird noise going on. What is that? Well, it's the belt gripping on the secondary. That is the noise that you're going to hear. And you may hear that upon initial startup of your CF Moto. And the reason why is because when you first start your CF Moto, it's going to run at higher RPMs, which is going to engage this clutch. It will disengage the clutch as the electronic choke shuts off and the engine comes down to normal idle. So that is the noise that you're hearing. So some of you are also uh, reporting that you're hearing like a knocking sound. I want to tell you guys what that is also. And that is these three little sliders right here. Can you hear that? It 
it's hard to it's hard to get it to do it but nonetheless that knocking sound is coming from this plate moving back and forth inside here and these are what are causing that and you can replace these they will quit when they're new but once they break in they'll go back to making noise so now it's time to put this together and start the engine and uh, show you how the CVT works. So you guys see how that secondary stays put? That's because we have good bearings in the primary clutch bearing. We had did that rebuild the other day. And that thing staying put is what it's supposed to do. If that thing spins, it makes it hard for you to shift gears. So if you're having a hard time shifting gears, it's most likely because that secondary is spinning and your uh, primary bearing is going bad and you want to replace it. We do have those rebuild kits on our website for an affordable price. And if you notice here where I give it gas, my primary clutch kit, it catches the belt real nice and easy instead of slams into the belt. If you pay attention there, it's real nice and smooth engaging. That's how you get the engagement. It's all in the kit. That's how you get the smooth engagement. It's all in the kit on how it's tuned. It does it in a very smooth manner. And if you noticed, we had some pretty quick back shift there as well. So guys, that is what will cause your clutches to uh, not sh shift right and engage right. Also, if you have worn sheaves, if your sheaves are real worn from the belt, that can also cause some jittery and, and stuttery starts and kind of uh, you'll feel it when you're driving it. And you might want to get those replaced if they got deep grooves wore into them. Some grooves are normal. It's fine. It's, it's normal use. But you may want to replace those if they're too deep and too tore up. So guys, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the thumbs up button for me and click that like, share, and subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and God bless. Don't forget to check out our website for your CF Moto goodies.